Hi, so let me give you a quick introduction into transducers, um, basically what they are and a quick example of a, a simple transducer using an amplifier. So all a transducer is, is something that takes an energy of a certain quantity and type. And as our output, we have energy of a certain type and quantity. So a transducer could change the energy type, it could change the quantity, it could change both. And there's tons of examples of transducers and they're everywhere. So I'll just use some basic ones that I have here. So this is a mouse and it's sort of translating this, this energy type or quantity, this physical quantity of, of my movement in space. And it's translating that into this electrical signal that goes off to my computer so that it knows where, where my mouse is. Um, there's, there's all kinds of types. I'll just list a couple out here. Like I could, you know, you could have a certain energy type of like, um, pressure or humidity. Um, and that would, and then you could go to a certain dis and then maybe you want to display that. Like you have a certain display of like what's the temperature or how humid it is. And that would be, um, you would, you would translate that physical quantity into this electrical quantity that you could then display. So that'd be another example of a transducer. I'll just list a couple down here. And typically, whatever we're, we're sensing over here, um, oftentimes the transducer is going gonna, is gonna, to um, change that into an electrical signal. It doesn't have to be an, an electric signal, but that's just a pretty common um, type that it's converted to. So let's do an example of my microphone here as it's translating into your speakers. So for this, we're going to have um, a couple of transducers within a big one. So let me just go ahead and draw out a box for our big transducer. And as our input, I've got, say I've got this um, signal coming in from my voice into this mic, and let's just say we're going to represent that as the signal here. And what I want out is at your speakers, we want that same signal, um, but perhaps maybe amplified a little bit because you want to make sure you can hear me. Okay, so we've got our input signal and our output signal. Um, these should be at the same frequency. They're kind of not. Um, but uh, that's, that's the idea, is that you get this. If I, if I do an A note into here, you're going to hear an A note um, through, through your computer. And you're going to hear that through a speaker. So that speaker that you're hearing it through is also a, a transducer. So it's sort of like a transducer within this bigger one. And we'll call that a speaker transducer. And that's going to take this electric signal in, and it's going to convert it into these audio waves. So we have a certain type of energy electrical converted to a certain other type of any energy in the, in the audio wave. And in order to feed that, we need to feed it with electrical voltage. But the, um, let's say our speaker has our power of 12 watts and a resistance of 8 ohms. And we want to know what kind of voltage that we need to put in here. Well, we could just say our max, um, to find our max voltage, we could think about um, that power equation. So we know that um, P equals V squared over R. So our V max is going to be the square root of um, P times R, which in this case is going to give us about, I can make that approximate, um, 10 volts. So we need to feed our speaker with up to 10 volts. But in order to get the signal, we've got to, we've got to um, sense and receive this, this um, signal over here that's coming. Um, from my mouth into this microphone. So for that, we would need a different type of transducer, and we'll call that a microphone transducer. And that is going to have a certain voltage out. Well, we're actually going to call it V in because it's going to be into our um, our transducer here. So, um, and let's say that our say, say this mic it, it receives a message, but no matter how loud I go, the max that it can go is uh, 250. So we'll say. Uh, v in max equals um, 250 millivolts. Um, but like we mentioned over here, our, um, our V out max is going to be 10 volts. So we need something that's going to translate our, our, um, smaller sig our small, smaller voltage on this side to this larger voltage on this side. And for that, we could just use an amplifier, which in itself is, an, is also a transducer. So let's go ahead and draw a box for that. And I guess I'll just call this an amplifier transducer. So it's taking this voltage in and changing it to a voltage out. So we have energy of the same type, but we're going to have different quantities. So um, that's why we could still call this a transducer. So um, 
what we need to do is, is amplify the signal to get it over here, but by how much? And we're going to have to amplify that by this factor called k. And k is going to be e equal to our um, maximum output divided by our max input, which is going to be 10 volts divided by 250 millivolts, <coughs> which is going to be equal to 40. So here we have just a basic example of a transducer where we needed a, a microphone transducer to get this audio signal into voltage, then we needed to amplify that, and then we changed that voltage into speaker that, that you're hearing in your computer microphone. And all of these together, we could also call this a transducer um, because it's taking a certain energy type and quantity, which is our, our audio input signal, and it's changing it to a different type. Well, it's the same energy type, but a different quantity in, the, in what's coming out of your speakers. So this is a basic example of a transducer. Um, next video, I'm going to go ahead and give another example that also includes um, a, adding a bias here and not just an amplification. But until then, take care. <laughs>